I'll do like a couple of like my normal things that I do when I practice and just in bassoon in general. So um, for reeds, always, always have some water. So I just use an old pill bottle, um, but you can use any kind of little Tupperware container thing as long as it's like liquid tight so it doesn't spill in your case because that's really gross. It smells bad. Um, so you always want to soak your reed. Um, just putting in, just putting it in your mouth for a couple minutes, like a single reed, that does not work. It doesn't get the insides. It doesn't get, um, the string up here under your string or your wax is actually wood too. And so that part has to vibrate too. It goes through the entire reed. So you really need to soak it in water. Um, make sure you have a good reed case. Uh, this is a pretty big one. It's a pretty nice one, but I got it off of Amazon. Um, there's tons of different options. Uh, my best advice for that is just to get out of using those little boxes um, because the boxes don't really protect your reed that well. If you, they can pop open really easily um, and the plastic, if you like shake them around, they can chip your reed and it's just, these are a lot better. Um, they're all padded inside, soft on the inside. I currently have three reeds. Um, they've got these little, <laughs> they've got these little things where you stick your reeds on the end. Most of them do. Um, and they're, on the side like the reeds can stick out so that they'll dry um better so your reeds don't get moldy because that's gross um have a spot in your house that is your spot that is your practice zone and if your mom's like bailey you gotta clean up your instrument and stuff i can say no mom well be nice to your parents be respectful but i can say no mom this is my space this is my bassooning zone and this is where i am like in the zone i can get my work done Cause like, so over here right now, I use the corner of my room. Um, so right now I've got my reeds on my desk, which are over here off the camera, my sand over here off to the side. I have a window right in front of me. So A, I can get good light and B, I have a sill in case I need to record anything for um, class or for auditions. Cause I know right now in the pandemic, like we're having to do auditions online and that really stinks, but I have a good spot for where I need to record things and things like this. And then uh, my spot is kind of a mess, but there's my music books are on the floor um, and I've got this corner um, next to my desk that has um, a little shelfy thing that I can put all of my music into. On my window, I have some like little inspirational quotes taped um, and I also have the circle of fifths taped so that when I run through my scales, I make sure I can get them all. And I'm also learning all of my minor scales. So I have the three different types of minor scales and what they mean. And then I have the circle of fifths for the minor scales so that I know which key signature this they're in. During this craziness with the COVID-19 and that sort of thing, um, make sure you are practicing your instrument because it will hurt you if you're not. You'll get to high school next year or if you're still in middle school, you'll get back to middle school and you'll go, how do I do this? How do I put this together? Like, I'm exaggerating, but it's not going to help you if you don't practice right now. Um, it's going to hurt you a lot. I'm actually going to, I'm done practicing for the night. So I'm going to take my reed out <laughs> of my water. So it's just not sitting there. Um, yeah. And enjoy it. One of the things that I love doing right now with all of this free time is that I have a lot of time to practice. So when I'm not doing schoolwork or like taking a walk, <laughs> if any of you guys are walking or I'm like hanging out with my sister, I'll come in here. And one of the things that I love doing is um, I'll play duets out of one of my old practice books. So I'll play the student part and record it. And then I'll go back and play the recording and I will play the teacher part. So I play duets with myself as silly as that might sound, but it's a lot of fun. So find ways to make your practice enjoyable. You know, you don't have any band music to practice right now. So maybe now's the time to order a practice. If you don't have one, order a practice book or two off Amazon. Just make this fun because bassoon's fun. Like music's fun. It shouldn't be a burden and it should be something you enjoy. So that is all for now. And I will see you guys next time. Maybe, I don't know how this is working, but I think this is cool.